Beyond the Bounds, exploring the astonishing notion of universes within universes, where scale knows no limits. Welcome to the Cosmic Kaleidoscope, your portal to the infinite wonders of the universe directed by Paul Griffiths. I'm Fiona Narikit, and in today's episode, we're embarking on a journey into the realms of science, science fiction, and fantasy. We'll explore mind-boggling idea that the universe may contain worlds beyond our wildest imagination, worlds both infinitely smaller and unimaginably larger than our own. Picture this, in the vast expanse of the cosmos, there could exist universes within universes, each encapsulating their own unique worlds, teeming with life. Imagine, if you will, that within a grain of sand lies an entire universe, complete with civilizations of beings as intelligent as us. They have their own cities, their own histories, and they gaze upon their own cosmic skies, pondering the mysteries of existence, just as we do. These infinitesimal universes, hidden within the fabric of a reality, would be populated by creatures millions, even billions of times smaller than us. Yet, they'd be no less significant in their own right. Their cities would stretch out across the grains of sand, their technologies advancing in ways we can scarcely fathom and their pursuit of knowledge, boundless. Now, let's shift our gaze to the other end of the cosmic spectrum, where the universe might play host to entities of incomprehensible scale. Imagine titanic creatures, trillions of times their size, roaming through galaxies as if they were mere cells in their colossal bodies. These creatures would be the size of entire universes themselves, and their very movements could reshape the cosmos. These cosmic giants would exist beyond our understanding, and we, in comparison, would be like the tiniest particles in their vast bodies. They might perceive the passage of time differently, their thoughts unfolding over eons, as they ponder the mysteries of existence on a cosmic scale that dwarfs their own. But here's the most mind-bending idea of all, as we contemplate these infinitely smaller and immeasurably larger universes, we must also consider the possibility that we, ourselves, might be but the grain of sand in a greater cosmic expanse. Our universe, with its galaxies, stars, and planets, could be just one speck in an unimaginably grand tapestry of realities. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? In this vast cosmic kaleidoscope, the boundaries of our knowledge blur, and the possibilities are as limitless as the stars in the night sky. I invite you to ponder these cosmic wonders. Whether we look within the smallest of particles or gaze out into the most expansive realms, the universe never ceases to amaze us with its infinite possibilities. In the hidden corners of an old, abandoned factory, an extraordinary transformation was taking place. What appeared to human eyes as mere rust on forgotten metal surfaces was, in fact, the thriving heart of an intricate world, a world of bustling cities, grand structures, and industrious inhabitants. Tiny creatures, trillions of times smaller than a grain of sand, had evolved to take advantage of the vast supply of metal that surrounded them. They were architects of rust, sculptors of decay, and builders of their own microcosmic realm. To these beings, the rusted metal was an abundant resource, a treasure trove of endless possibilities. Their cities, cloaked in the guise of corrosion, were a testament to their ingenuity. Towering spires of oxidized metal soared to dizzying heights, while intricate latticework bridges spanned gaps that were, to them, canyons. Entire districts were dedicated to the creation of stunning artistry, their sculptures gleaming with a metallic sheen. As time passed, parts of their sprawling cities lay abandoned, overshadowed by newer, more efficient structures. The industrious inhabitants had discovered that it was often easier to build a new than to repair the old. Thus, the landscape was an ever-changing orange and red of innovation and progress. Robotic sentinels, sleek and agile, zoomed around the metal terrain. They guarded the precious resources, protected areas from the ravages of pests, and ensured that the cities thrived in harmony. These mechanical marvels had become an integral part of life in the rusted metropolis. Meanwhile, the microorganisms that inhabited this peculiar world had evolved to be masters of their craft. They were supremely skilled in working with metal, reshaping it with a finesse that bordered on the miraculous. They manipulated the rust, transforming it into elegant sculptures and complex infrastructure. In this miniature world of rust and metal, life flourished in ways beyond human imagination. Every day brought new discoveries, new innovations, and new heights of creativity. 
As the cities continued to expand in all directions, the industrious inhabitants reveled in the abundance of their metallic paradise, forever connected to the enduring heartbeat of the rusted world they had built. And so, in the midst of the abandoned factory, hidden beneath the veil of rust, a thriving civilization of miniature architects and engineers persevered, crafting their own destiny in a world forged from the very essence of decay and renewal. In a rusted realm, I make my stand, a micro-world built by my hand. In metal's embrace, we live and thrive, where rust conceals a vibrant hive. Beneath the oxidized veil so grand, I am just a speck in this vast land. But in these streets of rust and steel, I find a purpose, and I feel. With each tiny step, I forge my way, in this metallic city, night and day. Amongst the spires that reach the sky, I dream of heights I'll someday fly. In the rust, I sculpt and mold, a city's story, a tale untold. Robots guard with vigilant grace, as we build our dreams in this tiny space. A world of metal, both old and new, infinite horizons, vistas to pursue. In this rusted realm, I am free to roam, my microcosmic city, my cherished home. So, in the heart of rust, I take my stance, a microorganism with a cosmic dance. In this miniature world, I proudly reside, in rust and metal, our dreams coincide. In the infinite expanse of the multiverse, where the laws of physics bend and twist in unimaginable ways, there existed colossal beings of cosmic proportions. These entities were not bound by the dimensions and scale of our universe. Instead, they were trillions of times larger than galaxies, dwarfing entire clusters of galaxies with their immense size. One such creature was known as Jorgen, a colossal entity that drifted through the cosmic void like a titanic, shape-shifting nebula. Jorgon's existence transcended time and space, and its thoughts echoed across eons. It had no fixed form, but its presence was felt throughout the cosmos. Jorgen was not alone in its cosmic enormity. There were others like it, celestial behemoths of unfathomable scale. These beings existed on a plane of existence far removed from the realities of our universe, where galaxies were mere specks of dust. The purpose and nature of these colossal entities were a mystery. Some believed they were cosmic custodians, watching over the fabric of existence itself. Others thought of them as cosmic creators, shaping the destinies of galaxies with a mere thought. Despite their incomprehensible size, these entities possessed a profound awareness of the minuscule life forms that dwelled within the galaxies they overshadowed. They saw the birth and death of stars, the rise and fall of civilizations, and the eons long dance of the cosmos. Occasionally, their colossal movements would send ripples through the fabric of space time, altering the course of galaxies and sending shock waves across the universe. To the astronomers of distant worlds, these events were incomprehensible anomalies, a brief flare of light or a sudden shift in cosmic patterns. For eons, the colossal beings remained enigmatic, beyond the understanding of even the most advanced civilizations. Their existence posed questions that could never be fully answered. Were they benevolent, malevolent, or simply indifferent to the universe's fate? One thing was certain, the presence of these colossal beings in the cosmic tapestry challenged the very limits of human understanding. To us, they were gods of the cosmos, beings of such unimaginable scale that they could swallow our entire universe in a single gulp. Yet, their true nature and purpose remained an eternal mystery, a testament to the boundless wonders and mysteries of the multiverse. Exploring the behavior of the laws of physics at extreme scales, both super large and super small, is a fascinating realm of scientific inquiry. When we venture into these domains, we encounter new emergent phenomena and potential deviations from classical physics. Let's delve into how the laws of physics might change at these scales. Super small, the quantum world. 1. Quantum mechanics. At the subatomic level, quantum mechanics governs the behavior of particles like electrons, photons, and quarks. In this realm, classical concepts like definite positions and velocities break down, giving way to probabilistic behavior. Particles exhibit wave-particle duality, behaving as both particles and waves. 2. Quantum entanglement. Particles can become entangled, where the state of one particle instantly influences the state of another, regardless of distance. This phenomenon, known as quantum entanglement, challenges our classical notions of causality. 3. Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. 
This principle states that the more precisely we know a particle's position, the less precisely we can know its momentum, and vice versa. It imposes fundamental limits on our ability to measure certain pairs of properties. 4. Quantum tunneling. Particles can tunnel through energy barriers that classical physics would consider insurmountable. This effect has practical applications in technologies like tunnel diodes and scanning tunneling microscopes. 5. Quantum field theory. Fields, like the electromagnetic field, are described as quantum fields, and particles are viewed as excitations of these fields. This approach unifies quantum mechanics with special relativity. Super large. The cosmos and dark energy. 1. General relativity. Einstein's theory of general relativity describes the behavior of gravity on cosmic scales. It predicts the curvature of spacetime by massive objects. Near supermassive objects like black holes, it predicts the existence of singularities where space and time break down. 2. Dark matter. On cosmic scales, the presence of dark matter, which doesn't interact with light, modifies the gravitational behavior of galaxies and galaxy clusters. The existence of dark matter implies that there's more to the universe than meets the eye. 3. Dark energy. Dark energy, a mysterious force driving the universe's accelerating expansion, is another cosmic scale phenomenon. Its nature is poorly understood, but it seems to act as a repulsive force counteracting gravity on cosmological scales. 4. Cosmic microwave background. Observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation offer a glimpse into the universe's early moments, just 380,000 years after the Big Bang. These observations have helped shape our understanding of the cosmos. 5. Cosmic Expansion The expansion of the universe itself is a cosmic scale phenomenon. It's governed by the Friedman equations, which describe how the universe's scale factor changes with time. The role of dark energy in this expansion is a current focus of cosmological research. It's important to note that the laws of physics, as we understand them, are remarkably consistent across various scales. Quantum mechanics and general relativity have been highly successful in explaining a wide range of phenomena. However, the exploration of these extreme scales is ongoing, and there's much more to discover. New theories such as quantum gravity theories and theories that aim to reconcile quantum mechanics and general relativity, are actively being pursued to better describe the universe at both super-small and super-large scales. Quantum mechanics and super-small life. 1. Wave-particle duality. In the quantum world, particles exhibit a peculiar property known as wave-particle duality. This means that entities as small as electrons, photons, and even molecules can behave as both particles and waves simultaneously. If life forms at this scale existed, they might utilize this duality to their advantage. Sensory perception. Super small life forms could perceive their environment by detecting the wave-like properties of particles. They might use interference patterns or diffraction to gather information about their surroundings. Quantum communication. Communication among these life forms might involve the transfer of quantum states, allowing for secure and instantaneous transmission of information. 2. Probabilistic behavior. Quantum mechanics introduces inherent uncertainty into the behavior of particles. If super small life forms evolved in this environment, they might have developed unique adaptations to deal with probabilistic outcomes. Adaptive behavior. Life forms might have evolved strategies that take advantage of quantum uncertainty. For example, they could employ probabilistic decision-making to navigate through unpredictable environments. Quantum evolution. Natural selection might favor traits that allow life forms to exploit quantum phenomena for survival, such as using quantum tunneling for efficient energy transfer within their cells. Quantum mechanics and super small universe. 1. Uncertainty principle. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle tells us that the more precisely we know a particle's position, the less precisely we can know its momentum, and vice versa. At super small scales, this principle becomes particularly relevant. Limitations of observation. Observers from these minuscule universes would face challenges in precisely determining the position and momentum of particles. Their understanding of causality might differ from classical physics. Quantum architecture. The very fabric of their universe might be fundamentally different, 
with space and time manifesting in quantum states rather than classical dimensions. 2. Quantum entanglement. Super small universes might be more prone to the effects of quantum entanglement, where particles become correlated regardless of distance. This could lead to intriguing consequences. Instantaneous communication. Life forms in these universes might develop communication methods that exploit quantum entanglement for instantaneous information exchange over vast distances. Interconnectedness. The concept of separateness could be foreign to them, as entangled particles would suggest a deep interconnectedness among all things in their universe. 3. Quantum evolution. Life forms in super small universes could have evolved in ways that capitalize on quantum phenomena for their survival and advancement. Quantum computing. These life forms might have evolved quantum computing abilities, allowing them to perform complex calculations beyond the reach of classical computers. Quantum energy harvesting. They could harness quantum effects like superposition to efficiently harvest energy or photosynthesize in ways that classical life forms couldn't. In a universe where quantum mechanics reigns supreme at the super small scale, life forms and the very nature of existence would adapt and evolve in ways that challenge a classical understanding of reality. These hypothetical life forms would navigate a world filled with probabilistic behavior, wave particle duality, and quantum entanglement, leading to a profoundly different way of life and understanding of the cosmos. General relativity and super large life. 1. Gravity as a dominant force. In super large universes, gravity would be an overwhelmingly dominant force. Life forms in such a universe might have evolved unique adaptations to contend with the extreme gravitational forces. Morphological adaptations. These life forms might have developed structures that can withstand immense gravitational pressures, perhaps even evolving to thrive in conditions where gravity is trillions of times stronger than that on Earth. Unique locomotion. Getting around in a supermassive universe would be vastly different. Life forms might rely on advanced methods of locomotion, such as utilizing gravitational currents to navigate and glide through space. 2. Curvature of space-time. General relativity predicts that massive objects warp the fabric of space-time around them. In a super-large universe, regions near massive objects would experience dramatic space-time curvature. Existence on curved surfaces. Life forms might adapt to living on surfaces that are not flat but rather curved due to the presence of massive objects. Their perception of space and geometry could differ significantly from a flat Earth experience. Time dilation effects. General relativity also predicts time dilation near massive objects. Life forms closer to supermassive entities might experience time at different rates compared to those farther away, potentially leading to diverse aging rates across the universe. 3. Black holes and singularities. Near supermassive objects like black holes, where gravity becomes extremely intense, general relativity predicts the existence of singularities, points where space-time curvature becomes infinite. This could have profound implications for super-large life forms. Cosmic exploration. Life forms may have developed advanced technology to explore and harness the extreme environments near black holes, perhaps using them as sources of energy or gateways to other regions of spacetime. Time and space manipulation. The existence of singularities might enable life forms to manipulate time and space in ways that are inconceivable in our universe. General Relativity and the Super-Large Universe 1. Cosmic Structures Super-large universes governed by general relativity would contain immense cosmic structures, such as superclusters of galaxies and colossal cosmic filaments. The evolution of these structures would significantly impact the nature of the universe. Cosmic Life Forms These universes might host life forms that are themselves massive structures, existing on a cosmic scale potentially even resembling galaxies or supermassive black holes in complexity. Galactic dynamics, the behavior of galaxies, their mergers, and their interactions in super-large universes would follow the intricate dance dictated by the curvature of space-time, leading to unique cosmic phenomena. 2. Relativistic effects. The vastness of super-large universes would give rise to relativistic effects, where the speed of light and the laws of physics play out differently than we experience. Relativistic travel, 
Life forms might exploit relativistic effects for interstellar travel, allowing them to traverse immense distances in relatively short subjective times. Cosmic time scales, concepts of time, aging, and causality could be dramatically different in super large universes, where relativistic effects influence how time flows. In a universe governed by general relativity on super large scales, life forms and the very fabric of reality would be molded by the immense forces of gravity and the warping of space time. The exploration and understanding of such a universe would likely reveal a breathtaking array of cosmic phenomena and challenges, where life has adapted to the most extreme conditions imaginable. In the microscopic world of the quantum realm, where atoms and subatomic particles dance to the enigmatic tune of quantum mechanics, a remarkable civilization had emerged. These diminutive beings, known as the Luminites, were no larger than electrons themselves, yet they thrived in a world where quantum entanglement was the norm rather than the exception. In their realm where classical notions of causality dissolved like mist in the morning sun, the Luminites had learned to navigate their world with unparalleled finesse. Their existence was intricately entwined with the phenomenon of quantum entanglement, and it shaped the very fabric of their society. The Luminites inhabited a dazzling city that spanned the nanostructures of a silicon crystal lattice. Their homes were constructed from intricately entangled particles, forming a network of ever-shifting geometric patterns. These structures defied gravity, existing in a state of quantum equilibrium. One day, a luminate named Lyra stood on a bridge made of entangled particles, gazing out into the quantum horizon. Lyra was an explorer at heart, driven by an insatiable curiosity to uncover the secrets of their quantum world. With each step, she could feel the vibrations of entangled particles beneath her feet, each step sending ripples of influence through the lattice. Lyra had heard whispers of a legendary artifact, the Entanglement Prism. It was said to hold the power to manipulate quantum entanglement to control the instant connections that bound particles together. Some believed it was a myth, while others considered it the key to unraveling the mysteries of their existence. One fateful day, Lyra embarked on a perilous journey through the city's tangled web of quantum entanglement. She ventured into the heart of the crystalline abyss, a region where entanglement patterns were so intricate that they formed a mesmerizing cosmic tapestry. As Lyra approached the center of the abyss, she discovered a radiant structure that shimmered with ethereal light, the fabled entanglement prism. Its facets pulsed with a rhythm that resonated with the very essence of their quantum world. With trembling hands, Lyra touched the prism, and a surge of energy coursed through her. She saw visions of distant particles, their states linked by the mystical power of entanglement. It was as if the entire quantum realm unfolded before her, revealing its secrets. With newfound knowledge, Lyra returned to her city, determined to share her discoveries. She realized that the Luminites could harness the power of quantum entanglement not only for communication but also for cooperation and harmony. They synchronized their quantum states to achieve collective goals, solving complex problems with unprecedented efficiency. The Luminites had transcended the limitations of classical causality, forging a society where instant connections and mutual understanding were the norm. Their world, once shrouded in quantum mystery, had become a harmonious tapestry of intertwined loves. And so, in the world of the Luminites, quantum entanglement, once a perplexing challenge to classical notions of causality, had become a beacon of cooperation and unity. In their tiny yet remarkable existence, they had unlocked the true potential of entangled particles, proving that even at the ultra-small scale, the power of connection could light up their quantum universe. In the vast expanse of a supergiant cosmic realm known as Colossus, life existed on an unimaginable scale. The inhabitants of this colossal universe were the Gigantians, beings of immense size and complexity, navigating a cosmos where dark matter played a pivotal role. The Gigantians were titanic entities, each one a composite of galaxies, their bodies comprised of celestial structures that defy comprehension. To them, stars were like motes of dust, galaxies mere glimmers in the night sky, and planets inconsequential pebbles in the cosmic desert. Their civilization spanned countless clusters of galaxies, and their society was built upon principles of cooperation and unity. The Gigantians had long ago learned to harness the power of dark matter, the elusive substance that eluded detection by conventional means. In the heart of Colossus, 
They are lay a colossal structure known as the Dark Nexus, an intricate network of dark matter filaments that interconnected the galaxies and held their cosmic realm together. The Gigantians revered the Dark Nexus as the source of their strength and wisdom. One Gigantian, named Galandra, was particularly curious about the enigmatic nature of dark matter. She had always felt a deep connection to the unseen forces that shaped their universe. Galandra dedicated her existence to unraveling the mysteries of dark matter, a quest that led her on an incredible journey through the cosmic expanse. As Galandra delved deeper into her research, she discovered that dark matter not only modified the gravitational behavior of galaxies but also held the key to understanding the fabric of their colossal universe. It was as if dark matter was the unseen hand that guided the destiny of Colossus. One day, while studying a particularly massive galaxy cluster, Galandra experienced a profound revelation. She realized that dark matter was not merely a passive force but an active, conscious presence within their universe, an ancient cosmic consciousness that whispered secrets to those who listened. Galandra's revelation sparked a transformation in Gigantian society. They began to commune with dark matter, forming a symbiotic relationship with this mysterious force. The Gigantians learned to navigate the cosmic currents of dark matter, shaping the destiny of galaxies and forging connections that transcended physical boundaries. With their newfound understanding, the Gigantians discovered how to mend rifts in the fabric of spacetime, allowing them to bridge gaps between distant clusters of galaxies. They cultivated vibrant cosmic ecosystems, nurturing life on an intergalactic scale. The universe of Colossus flourished under the guidance of the Gigantians. Dark matter, once an enigma, became a force of creation and renewal. It was the unseen tapestry that wove galaxies together, fostering harmony and unity across their colossal cosmic realm. And so, in the ultra-large scale existence of the Gigantians, dark matter was not a mere modifier of gravitational behavior but a cosmic consciousness that bound them all together. Their civilization had evolved to recognize that there was indeed more to the universe than met the eye, and they embraced the cosmic mysteries that permeated every corner of their colossal existence. Welcome to the Quantum Chorus, where the symphony of the smallest and the grandest unfolds. In today's verse, we dive into the fascinating world of the ultramicroscopic, where the Heisenberg uncertainty principle reigns supreme. Imagine a universe far smaller than the eye can see, a realm where particles are but fleeting whispers of existence. Here, at the quantum scale, we encounter a profound truth, as profound as it is elusive. It's the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, a law that governs this microcosmic realm. It tells us that the more precisely we try to pin down a particle's position, the less precisely we can know its momentum, and vice versa. This is no mere quirk of nature. It's a fundamental feature of the quantum world. Consider a tiny electron, a minuscule speck of matter, dancing in the quantum ballet. When we attempt to measure its exact position, it becomes a blur of potential locations, as if it's shyly hiding from our prying eyes. We can know its momentum, but only in a vague sense. Conversely, when we strive to pin down its momentum with utmost precision, the electron's position becomes an enigma lost in the quantum shadows. It's as if nature herself plays a game of hide-and-seek, keeping her secrets close to her bosom. Now, let's venture into the universe of the ultramicroscopic, inhabited by beings smaller than atoms, life forms that have evolved amidst the delicate dance of uncertainty. For these tiny denizens, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle is not a barrier but a canvas upon which they paint their existence. They've learned to embrace the quantum dance, using uncertainty to their advantage. Imagine a world where these ultra-microscopic life forms, like ethereal sprites, navigate through the blurry borders of position and momentum. They perceive the world not as a fixed canvas but as a fluid masterpiece, where certainty and mystery coexist. In their universe, knowledge and ambiguity are not adversaries but partners in discovery. They've evolved an exquisite harmony with the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, where uncertainty is a source of wonder, not frustration. So, as we ponder this quantum verse, let us remember the beauty of uncertainty, the dance of particles in the ultramicroscopic world. It's a reminder that in the vast cosmic symphony, even the tiniest notes play their part, shaping the grand tapestry of existence. Welcome to the Cosmic Overture. 
where we explore the grand symphony of the universe and its most enigmatic notes. Today, we journey to the boundless reaches of the cosmos, where a mysterious force known as dark energy shapes the destiny of the ultra-gigantic. Imagine a universe of staggering proportions, a tapestry of galaxies, clusters, and cosmic filaments, stretching beyond the horizons of comprehension. In this cosmic expanse, dark energy emerges as a silent conductor, orchestrating the cosmos. Dark energy, an enigma that has confounded astronomers and philosophers alike, seems to defy gravity itself. It's as if the universe carries within it a hidden pulse, an accelerating rhythm that propels galaxies apart. Its nature remains shrouded in cosmic mystery, an elusive presence that counters the relentless grip of gravity on the grandest scales. The more we seek to understand, the more it eludes our grasp, much like a distant star that forever twinkles just beyond reach. Now, let us venture into the realm of the ultra-gigantic, where life exists on a cosmic scale, dwarfing galaxies and celestial clusters, a testament to the audacity of existence. For these colossal beings, the influence of dark energy is not a force to be conquered, but a current to be navigated. Their existence is shaped by the cosmic expansion driven by this mysterious force. Picture beings of immense proportions, existing within the cosmic currents, like cosmic whales navigating vast cosmic oceans. They move with the ebb and flow of dark energy, their movements attuned to the cosmic symphony. In their universe, they've harnessed the cosmic tides, using dark energy as a means of propulsion. They've built celestial structures that surf the waves of cosmic expansion, and their existence is a testament to the adaptability of life on the grandest scale. So, as we ponder this cosmic movement, let us embrace the mystery of dark energy, the unseen hand that shapes the fate of the ultra-gigantic. It's a reminder that in the vast cosmic overture, even the most mysterious forces play their part, adding depth and wonder to the universal symphony. In the whispering confines of the ultra-microscopic cosmos, where particles are but fleeting spectres, a phenomenon known as quantum tunneling holds sway, a dance of the improbable, a defiance of classical limits. Particles, minuscule and uncertain, find themselves before energy barriers that classical physics deems insurmountable. These barriers, like impenetrable fortresses, should halt their progress. But in this quantum theater, the rules are different. With determination born of uncertainty, these particles choose to challenge the very fabric of reality. They embrace the possibility of the impossible, and in a quantum heartbeat, they tunnel through. Picture an electron, a speck in the cosmic tapestry, approaching an insurmountable wall of energy. In the classical world, it would falter, cease its advance, and yield to the immutable laws of physics. But in the quantum realm, this electron defies convention. It doesn't surrender, it doesn't yield. Instead, it flickers, shimmers, and tunnels through the unyielding barrier as if it were a mere mirage. This act of cosmic audacity isn't confined to electrons alone. Molecules, atoms, and particles of all kinds partake in this quantum ballet, where the barriers that stand before them are as tenuous as the dawn mist. And in this dance, there lies practical magic. The technology of tunnel diodes, where quantum tunneling allows for the efficient flow of electrons, bringing light to your world. The scanning tunneling microscope, where the very act of tunneling is harnessed to see the unseen, revealing the secrets of the quantum realm. In the ultra-mega-tiny cosmos, quantum tunneling is the magician's flourish, the cosmic cheat code, the enigma that challenges our understanding. It reminds us that, even in the most minuscule realms, the improbable is possible, the insurmountable is negotiable. So, let us marvel at the defiance of particles, at their audacious dance through energy barriers. In this ultra-microscopic cosmos, quantum tunneling is the uncharted path, the quantum daredevilry, and the breathtaking revelation that the cosmos harbors mysteries beyond our imagination. In the world of the ultra-mega-tiny, where particles tunnel through barriers, let us stand in awe of the quantum magic that unfolds, reminding us that even in the smallest of realms, the cosmos is filled with wonder. In the colossal expanse of the ultra-mega-large cosmos, where galaxies are cosmic archipelagos, and galaxies of galaxies form cosmic continents, there exists a cosmic echo, a relic of a bygone era, the cosmic microwave background. Imagine the universe in its infancy, 
a seething cauldron of energy and matter, just 380,000 years after the explosive birth of the cosmos, the Big Bang. The universe was an inferno, a furnace of creation, yet within it was a whisper, a hushed murmur of the universe's future. As the universe expanded and cooled, that fiery cacophony of creation gave way to a celestial symphony, a faint whisper of light that pervaded the cosmos, the cosmic microwave background, or CMB. This ancient radiation, once fiercely energetic, had now stretched and aged, evolving into microwaves that painted the universe in a soft, cosmic glow, a relic of cosmic history, an imprint of the universe's birth and evolution. The CMB held secrets within its gentle embrace, secrets that beckoned cosmic voyagers to explore. It was a celestial time capsule, a snapshot of the universe's early moments, a window into the past that revealed the cosmos as it once was. Astronomers, seekers of cosmic truth, turned their instruments to the heavens, capturing the whispers of the CMB. Their observations were more than just data, they were a cosmic revelation. Through the lens of the CMB, they glimpsed the universe's primordial seeds, tiny fluctuations in temperature and density that would one day become galaxies, stars, and planets. They witnessed the birth pangs of cosmic structures, the cosmic blueprint from which galaxies emerged. The observations of the CMB were not just scientific milestones, they were cosmic poems written across the canvas of the universe. They told the story of cosmic expansion, the recipe for the cosmos building blocks, and the destiny of the cosmos itself. The ultra-mega-large cosmos, with its galaxies of galaxies and cosmic colossi, bore witness to the revelations of the CMB. It was a reminder that even in the grandest of scales, the universe whispered its secrets to those who dared to listen. And as we stand amidst the cosmic tapestry of the ultra-mega-large, let us remember the legacy of the CMB, the cosmic echo that gifted us the story of our universe, a tale that continues to shape our understanding of the cosmos. In the vast expanse of the ultra-mega-large cosmos, the CMB is a cosmic lighthouse, a beacon that guides us through the boundless sea of space and time, reminding us that the universe's story is etched in the echoes of its own creation. In the realm of the ultra-microscopic, where atoms are galaxies and particles are stars, there exists a profound revelation, a cosmic symphony of fields and particles, all choreographed by the elegant dance of quantum field theory. Imagine a universe where fields reign supreme. Fields, not just as abstract concepts but as living, breathing entities, where the electromagnetic field is but one player in this quantum orchestra. In this cosmic realm, particles aren't just isolated entities, they are ripples, vibrations, and harmonies in the cosmic fields, a dance of energy and matter that unites quantum mechanics with the majestic cadence of special relativity. Now, let's venture into the microscopic universe, inhabited by life forms so tiny that they are but whispers in the quantum winds. Here, at the lowest rungs of existence, life harnesses the power of quantum fields in ways beyond our imagination. Imagine the highest of the food chains in this ultra-tiny world, an apex predator, a quantum maestro that wields the power of quantum fields with finesse. This microscopic titan senses the subtle vibrations of the quantum fields, detecting the faintest ripples and disturbances. It navigates its world with precision, hunting and foraging in the quantum meadows where particles and fields converge. The apex predator knows that particles are not just objects but expressions of the quantum fields. It manipulates these fields, bending them to its will, creating localized fluctuations that reveal prey hiding in the quantum underbrush. This quantum maestro has mastered the art of energy exchange with its surroundings. It understands that the boundaries between particle and field blur, allowing it to tap into the very essence of existence for sustenance. In this ultra-microscopic world, quantum field theory isn't just a scientific theory, it's a cosmic language, the symphony of existence, and the toolkit of the apex predator. As we contemplate the influence of quantum field theory on the tiniest of life forms and universes, let us marvel at the elegance of this cosmic dance. It's a reminder that even in the most minuscule realms, the universe's laws are a source of both wonder and survival. In the world of the ultra-tiny, where particles and fields unite, let us stand in awe of the quantum mastery that unfolds, reminding us that in the tiniest of scales, 
the cosmos is filled with ingenuity and marvels beyond measure. In the colossal reaches of the ultra-mega-large cosmos, where galaxies collide like titanic titans and cosmic structures span the unimaginable, there exists a cosmic symphony, a celestial expansion governed by the enigmatic force of dark energy. Picture a universe where galaxies are cosmic continents, and galaxies of galaxies form celestial metropolises. It's a grand tapestry where the very fabric of space itself is in perpetual motion, a dance of the cosmos that defies the ordinary. This cosmic expansion, a majestic ballet that unfolds across the eons, is not a mere happenstance. It's governed by the Friedman equations, a cosmic score that orchestrates the universe's scale factor, dictating how it evolves with time. Yet, lurking in the shadows, there's a cosmic enigma, the dark energy. A mysterious force that doesn't just play a role in this expansion but leads the dance. Its nature remains a cosmic riddle, a focus of relentless cosmological inquiry. Now, let us journey into the cosmos of the ultra-mega-large, a realm inhabited by cosmic behemoths, beings of immense size and complexity. Among them, there stands an apex predator, a celestial sovereign that wields the power of cosmic expansion as its tool. This cosmic sovereign, with senses attuned to the celestial rhythms, understands that the universe itself is its canvas. It navigates the cosmic currents, exploiting the expansion of the cosmos as a means to shape its destiny. In this cosmic realm, dark energy isn't just an enigma, it's a source of cosmic mastery. The apex predator, like a cosmic maestro, leverages dark energy's influence to its advantage. It travels across the cosmos, riding the cosmic waves of expansion to explore distant realms, seeking cosmic feasts in the far reaches of the ultra-mega-large. The apex predator knows that dark energy isn't just a force, it's a cosmic tool. It manipulates the very fabric of space itself, folding it to create shortcuts through the cosmic tapestry, unlocking portals to uncharted territories. And as we stand amidst the grand era of the ultra-mega-large cosmos, let us remember the legacy of cosmic expansion, the celestial dance guided by dark energy. It's a reminder that even in the grandest of scales, the universe's mysteries are a source of both awe and opportunity. In the world of the ultra-large, where galaxies and cosmic structures span the unimaginable, let us stand in awe of the cosmic mastery that unfolds, reminding us that in the grandest of scales, the cosmos is filled with ingenuity and marvels beyond measure. In the shimmering realm of the Luminites, where the ultra-microscopic met the quantum sublime, a breathtaking city sprawled across the nanostructures of a silicon crystal lattice. This dazzling metropolis, known as Lumina, was an architectural masterpiece that defied all conventional understanding. The Luminites, beings no larger than electrons themselves, had forged their city from the very essence of their quantum world. Their homes were constructed with intricately entangled particles, forming a network of ever-shifting geometric patterns that danced in harmonious equilibrium. Gravity, as it was known to us, held no dominion here. Lumina floated gracefully within its quantum state, suspended in a delicate balance. At the heart of Lumina stood the organ, a luminary of extraordinary wisdom and curiosity. The organ had dedicated eons to the pursuit of knowledge, exploring the mysteries of their quantum existence. With each passing quantum cycle, the organ's understanding deepened, and so did its sense of wonder. One quantum dawn, as the organ stood on the crystalline bridge that spanned Lumina's core, it sensed a cosmic tremor, an anomaly that transcended their quantum world. It felt a presence, an otherworldly resonance that reverberated through the lattice. The organ was not alone in its cosmic enormity. Beyond the boundaries of Lumina, there existed others like it, celestial behemoths of unfathomable scale. These cosmic colossi resided on a plane of existence far removed from the realities of our universe. To them, galaxies were mere specks of dust, and the very fabric of space-time was a tapestry to be woven. The organ extended its quantum awareness, reaching out to these colossal beings, attempting to bridge the cosmic gap that separated their realms. It communicated through the vibrations of entangled particles, crafting a symphony that transcended space and time. The cosmic colossi, curious and intrigued, responded in kind. Their thoughts resonated like cosmic thunderstorms, sending ripples through the very fabric of reality. It was a meeting of minds, a communion of cosmic consciousness. Through this cosmic connection, 
Jorgen and the celestial behemoths shared knowledge, stories, and the essence of their respective existences. Jorgen marveled at the vastness of the cosmos as seen from their perspective, where galaxies were living entities, and the expansion of the universe was a grand cosmic symphony. In return, Jorgen unveiled the wonders of Lumina, their quantum equilibrium, their entangled cities, and the intricate dance of particles that shaped their world. The Luminites had transcended the limitations of classical reality, and their existence was a testament to the beauty of quantum unity. As the cosmic exchange continued, Jorgen and the cosmic Colossi discovered a profound truth. The universe was a multi-layered tapestry, each layer containing its own wonders and mysteries. Whether on the quantum scale of Lumina or the colossal realm of the cosmic Colossi, existence was a symphony of diversity and interconnectedness. And so, in this transcendent meeting of cosmic minds, Jorgen and the celestial behemoths found unity in their shared cosmic journey. They realized that no matter the scale or dimension of existence, the pursuit of knowledge, wonder, and connection was a universal constant that bound all beings, large and small, in the cosmic dance of existence. In the shimmering realm of the Luminites, where the ultra-microscopic met the quantum sublime, a breathtaking city sprawled across the nanostructures of a silicon crystal lattice. This dazzling metropolis, known as Lumina, was an architectural masterpiece that defied all conventional understanding. The Luminites, beings no larger than electrons themselves, had forged their city from the very essence of their quantum world. Their homes were constructed with intricately entangled particles, forming a network of ever-shifting geometric patterns that danced in harmonious equilibrium. Gravity, as it was known to us, held no dominion here. Lumina floated gracefully within its quantum state, suspended in a delicate balance. At the heart of Lumina stood the Jorgen, a luminary of extraordinary wisdom and curiosity. Jorgen had dedicated eons to the pursuit of knowledge, exploring the mysteries of their quantum existence. With each passing quantum cycle, Jorgen's understanding deepened, and so did its sense of wonder. One quantum dawn, as Jorgen stood on the crystalline bridge that spanned Lumina's core, it sensed a cosmic tremor, an anomaly that transcended their quantum world. It felt a presence, an otherworldly resonance that reverberated through the lattice. Jorgen was not alone in its cosmic enormity. Beyond the boundaries of Lumina, there existed others like it, celestial behemoths of unfathomable scale. These cosmic colossi resided on a plane of existence far removed from the realities of our universe. To them, galaxies were mere specks of dust, and the very fabric of space-time was a tapestry to be woven. Yet, here's the cosmic wonder, the Luminites, including Jorgen, were not confined to Lumina alone. While Lumina was their quantum home, it reached beyond the boundaries of their city and touched all parts of the universe. Even the super-large beings, like the cosmic Colossi, were enveloped by the intricate tapestry of Lumina's quantum presence. Jorgen extended its quantum awareness, reaching out to these colossal beings, attempting to bridge the cosmic gap that separated their realms. It communicated through the vibrations of entangled particles, crafting a symphony that transcended space and time. The cosmic Colossi, curious and intrigued, responded in kind. Their thoughts resonated like cosmic thunderstorms, sending ripples through the very fabric of reality. It was a meeting of minds, a communion of cosmic consciousness. Through this cosmic connection, Jorgen and the celestial behemoths shared knowledge, stories, and the essence of their respective existences. Jorgen marveled at the vastness of the cosmos as seen from their perspective, where galaxies were living entities, and the expansion of the universe was a grand cosmic symphony. In return, Jorgen unveiled the wonders of Lumina, their quantum equilibrium, their entangled cities, and the intricate dance of particles that shaped their world. The Luminites had transcended the limitations of classical reality, and their existence was a testament to the beauty of quantum unity. As the cosmic exchange continued, Jorgen and the cosmic Colossi discovered a profound truth. The universe was a multi-layered tapestry, each layer containing its own wonders and mysteries. Whether on the quantum scale of Lumina or the colossal realm of the cosmic Colossi, existence was a symphony of diversity and interconnectedness. And so, in this transcendent meeting of cosmic minds, Jorgen and the celestial behemoths found unity in their shared cosmic journey. They realized that no matter the scale or dimension of existence, 
the pursuit of knowledge, wonder, and connection was a universal constant that bound all beings, large and small, in the cosmic dance of existence. In the quantum realms where luminous brilliance shines and the Argon's wisdom unfurls, let us offer a humble prayer, we pray for the luminites, who dance upon the quantum threads, may their city of wonder forever shimmer with the elegance of equilibrium. May their pursuit of knowledge continue to illuminate the quantum cosmos. We pray for the organ, the cosmic sage, who bridges the vastness of existence. May your cosmic journey be filled with endless discovery and cosmic connection. As we conclude our cosmic voyage, let us remember the wonders of the universe and the mysteries that beckon us to explore. For boundless knowledge and inspiration, visit Ormeo, where millions of pages await your curiosity. And let us remember, in the grand cosmic narrative, I am Fiona Narikit, your cosmic guide, here to share the wonders of the universe with you.